Yeah. Can I ball for a minute? Ride on. I got this. Let it roll like a night storm. Forever winning. Don't you ever get in my way. Cause otherwise I'm gonna rise up in your face. Teamwork head first. With my feet in the dirt. Extreme thirst. Feel the sun. Good morning, YouTube. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I hope you continue to have a good day. Uh, so guys, um, here's the deal, man. Breaking news. Uh, my New Year's resolution, and this is not just a New Year's. What's up, Mike? <laughs> this is not just a New Year's resolution. This is my promise. I, I am hanging the the reputation. Well, hold on a second, Mike. Did you just delete your own message? Michael, I know you didn't just delete your own message. I know you didn't just do that. Hey, how are you going to delete a message that I can see on the screen, bro? <laughs> uh, go ahead. It's okay. Why did you delete that message? Why? 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 Um. Anyways, here's the deal. Last night, I had a couple edibles, or I had an edible. Uh, I was dr I was drinking. I was sitting there on the couch, you know, just just enjoying the rest of my evening, right? Knew you'd change it. Knew I'd change what? Oh, the name of the channel? Yeah. What's up, Jamal? What's up, Sergeant? So, I was sitting there last night, and I had a drink. I had an edible, and I was sitting there, and I told, and I was, I called my wife in from the other room, and I was like, you know what? I think I have an, I think I have an ingenious idea for my channel. Now we'll see. You never, you never really know, right? But here's the deal. I will never quit another game on this channel. And, and, and by the way, when we're talking about quit, I don't mean like quit for the day. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to start and finish a game all in one session. I'm saying if I start a game, if I press new game or start game, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I don't care how much I hate it. I Hopefully I love it. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to choose games that I absolutely hate. And you know what? I actually thought about, you know, let me talk. I'll get to that point here in a second. But when I push start game. No, I, I'm telling you, Michael, just hold on. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Here's the deal. I'm creating a I'm creating a whole identity around finishing video games. Now, hopefully, I love the games I play. That's the hope. But if I get if I start playing a game, I'm half an hour into it. I'm an hour into it, and I and I get the Witcher face. We all know what the Witcher face is here. And I start thinking, oh God, I'm I'm this game is boring. I don't like this game. I I, I can't. I, I'm in the past. I would the, the old me would have been like, well, obviously. You know, I'll try again tomorrow, I'll find something else, blah, blah, blah. Those days are over. And here's, here is my personal guarantee to you guys. If I push start on a game, if I start a new game here on stream, I'm locked in. And as I put this on my life, if I ever quit another game, I will delete my channel. You have my word. Now, obviously, I can't prove to you because I don't have a I don't have a time machine. I can't I, I can't prove to you that I'll do that. But you have my word as a man. If I don't do it, unsubscribe because then you can't trust me. I'm untrustworthy. Here's the deal. Stop stop spamming that, Sergeant. <laughs> stop spamming it. Here's the deal. If I, and it, but here's why I think it actually works. Okay. Let's, let's say, uh, I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe it will. Maybe I'm playing, I'm, I'm starting Mass Effect today. Maybe I start the game. Maybe I get an hour into it and I'm bored. Now we're grinding, baby. Then, then, then the story becomes Adam hates this game. Will he stop? Will he give up? And I'll tell you right now, spoiler alert, because I'm not trying to clickbait anybody. The answer is no. 
but just watching my misery as I play games that I hate. So there it is. Now I, I am going to make a more articulate, short two, three minute video that I can uh, post at the top of my channel. Whatever uh, new stream or new people that come across my stream, it'll be the first thing they see. Uh, reoccurring subscribers will be the first thing they see. I'm putting at the very top of my YouTube channel. And um, going from, from this moment forward, that's the identity of this channel. The guy who doesn't quit games, no matter how bad they suck, no matter how much he hates the politics of the game, no matter anything. Now, I will say... Now, I will say this. Okay? There has to be some exceptions. Like, if I'm playing a game and there's some sort of error or a glitch that happens or let's say let's say i'm let, let's set a couple ground rules here okay let's say that i'm playing a game because i because i don't want this stuff to happen later and then i don't want this stuff to happen later and then i call then I, I i tell you guys you guys are upset that i'm not holding my end of the bargain so here let me tell you this let's say i'm playing a game i'm like halfway into the game right i'm like 10 15 hours in and something happens and the game bugs out the game freezes something happens where i lose my save the, the game becomes corrupted in some way like i'm not expecting this kind of thing to happen but you never know i'm just saying just in case there's an error where it basically i'm forced to start the game all the way over i'm not going to start a game all the way over just to say that i didn't quit a game okay i'm talking about when me me i want one thing that's not going to happen is i'm playing a game that i don't like and i just stop playing it it's like that kind of thing but if there's an actual error or something that's forcing me where i can't move forward in a certain game and the only way to, to beat the game is to start way like start over and i've already put three four streams in that's not reasonable <laughs> okay uh what's up jason how you doing buddy so what's up sugar bread hope you're having an awesome day Gave you a thumbs up, you rock. I appreciate you, Jason. So there's, so, so uh, there, there's the deal, guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm. This isn't this. I didn't, I, I didn't make this decision lightly. I'm. This is, this is, dead ass for real. And last night, I, in my search for a game that I would absolutely turn on, I came across Mass Effect. Now. I've played about half an hour of Mass Effect 3. Your bio still says sugar game? Yeah. Uh, I made some changes, Sergeant, and I there's a few things that I forgot to change. And thank you for letting me know. I still got to change a few things. Um, uh, so I have played a little bit of uh, Mass Effect 3, but I've never played Mass Effect. I've never played Mass Effect 2, and... For all intents and purposes, I never really played Mass Effect. I mean, I played the very beginning of it. I mean, I, I think I was still like in the tutorial phase, or maybe right after that or something, but it, I was not very far into it. I started the game. We're locked in. I haven't even done a performance test on this, so you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Welcome to Alliance Military Classified Database. Information requested. Oh snap! I love being in the loop on the classified connection. information. Secure connection confirmed. Well, obviously not. That means I'd have to delete my name <laughs> i'd have to leave my channel i said from this point going forward how will that even how's that even make sense sergeant please log in to access your profile
That's stupid, Sergeant. Why, why would I make a bet? Why would I tell you that I'm going to delete my channel if I don't complete a game, knowing that I've already not completed games? You understand how dumb that is, right? Silver Mafia? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a big fan of the word mafia. Please reconstruct profile. And start them back Confirm up. Confirm pre-service history. Well, if I do, then that'll be the rule. Okay, spacer, colonist, or earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great uh, megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. You were born and raised on Mindor, 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 a small border colony in the Attican tra Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years, few years later. Spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Let's go. I, I, I like the term spacer. That sounds cool. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological profile. A sole survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you uh, had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell. And now, you alone are left to tell the tale. War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy, despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism, 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 have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Ooh, I like that one, baby. I like that one. Let's go. Confirm military specialization. Soldier. Engineer. Adept. Adepts are biotic specialists through upgradable implants. They can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing and disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or snap rifles and wear medium armor. A sentinel. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. Nah, that's, I want that one. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of the firefight. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with soldiers because I want to be on the front lines. I think that's the most fun. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in all use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Let's go. Confirm facial identification. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter. Something like that.
so many games like they don't really have a good blue green ever I'll go with that one i guess I'll go with that one that's good enough profile reconstruction complete <laughs> make yourself oh yeah we'll make it myself do, do, do. Once you confirm your character, let's see. Adam Shepard, Spacer, Ruthless, Soldier. Oh, that's good. Let's go. Identification confirmed. We'll start off with normal. If, if I feel like it's easy, we'll bump it up. I don't know what the difference is. Subtitles on, autosave on, enable tutorials. Confirm. Let's go. Yeah, Sarge, I, I don't think you're understanding the rules, dude. I, I, does, I, 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 I never said I'm forced to go well, back and play anything. What about Shepard? <laughs> He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Damn Is right. That the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. What's up, Beast? I'll make the call. Sergeant, that's not how it works! In the year, in the year. 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that follow, these mysterious artifacts reveal startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for the novel, what? I guess we'll never tell the story. The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. Uh, initiating transmission sequence Commander. The, the original was 2007 but but uh, there was a remake uh, they remastered all all three uh, mass effects we are connected so this is the legendary edition so so, so they're all remastered the relay is hot acquiring approach vector all stations secure for transit but i've never played them so They have a good, they have a great reputation in gaming, so. The board is green. Approach run has begun. What's up, Ashley? How's it going, bro? Hi, Sergeant. Hitting the relay in three, two, bro. Look, I know, I know, you, I know you guys call him BS. Tanya, I'll never quit another game. Sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. Ugly as hell, bro. He looks like uh, one of those mages from uh, Skyrim. Minus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Yes, right. Joker. Act like it. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. That's Seth Green. You get that, Commander? 
I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? That's because I am always a little pissed off. Joker, Joker. Working with you idiots. I press the button to access the mission computer and view journal and codex entries. for you in the comm room, Commander. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Preston. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, Maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I'm playing this like an asshole, dude. <laughs> Alright, so, how do I... Oh, I see. There's a little flag right there. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's yeah. in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from the Spectre. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. Katrina. The galaxy can be a can very us dangerous us place. Is the Alliance Sorry, truly I meant to do it before I started. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Wow. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. Let's go. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Why are we waiting for it? 
Let's go. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh my God, dude, that sucks. So they're in trouble. After that. No com traffic at all. Is it really Seth Green? That's hilarious. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. Looks like something from uh, Stranger Things. Out, no other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Bro. Engaging stealth systems. Well, I just started, Corporal. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. So I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Dig site. Helping oh, survivors dig site. is a secondary dig objective. Site. The beacon's dig your top dig priority. Guy. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. So we gotta go activate this beacon. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. All right, I want to see something real quick. How come I can't turn the frame cap? Down. This place got hit hard, Commander. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to smooth this thing out. And why it won't let me turn the frame rate cap down. Won't let me adjust it. Oh, it's, okay, here we go. There we go. That should smooth everything out. There we go. Wait, kinda. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh God, what happened here? I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Imagine doing another Skyrim playthrough on Legendary and you can't escape Skyrim until you beat it. I'm just kidding. Still a risky rule. Hey, I'm, I'm all in, man. I'm all in with it. Sometimes you got to take a risk, man. Sometimes bold, bold moves is the only way to... How do 
do I reload? Or can I? Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Cold blooded, bro. Wait. Meta gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronic challenges both. Press Y. Okay. Use to issue orders to your squad, attack your target, left or right, it's a specific squad we need to move, regroup and follow you. Dude, I'm having some uh, frame rate issues with this game. Hold on. Try 120, I guess. I just do That would suck. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Hey, girl, what's up? You the one in charge here, sir? Uh, are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? <laughs> A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any Thank idea you. what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? What's up, guys? Hi. How's everyone doing today? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Take us there. with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Let's go. Move out. 
Now. Hard to move out, don't you understand? Press the button to access the mission computer, then go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the D-pad to select a talent or its rank. Use A to spend a talent point to gain a, to gain a rank in a selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. How many talent points do I have? Three, okay. So is this my, for, for me or is this for I'm throwing grenades when I do that. Beacon? Uh, shotgun, let's go. Take all. Yes, please. Now, how do I... No, no. Hold on a second. A is equipped. Wait, hold on. Oh, LB switch weapon. Okay. I have a third weapon back there. Does that always just stay there no matter what? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Jericho. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know Game. more after we check out the research camp. Unbelievable, bro. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Be positive. Okay, we need positivity. Spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. What? That's a snub rocket. Dude, I'm confused. So what? So who's who? Although that has okay, I see, I see. Okay, their pictures. Okay, I get it now. 
I got it. All right. So how about? So do I? How, can I not have a pistol? There we go. Pistol and assault rifle. Now we're doing good. I'm going the right way. Yo, I asked her to take us there. I don't know why I'm leading this thing. Please be able to turn right here. Gotta figure out where the hell I'm going. I don't know why this game is so uh, framey. It doesn't seem like it's optimized that well for PC. I've already opened this crate, I'm assuming. And that don't impress me much. Not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. What did the Geth do to them? Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If, if any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface by spending Omnigel. Advance the central core. Use L to move around the ring. Press A and B to move inward and outwards to avoid security programs. What? Okie dokie. <laughs> gotcha. Humans. Thank the maker. 
Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Why can't her makeup's all done? Alright, I gotta set a different waypoint. Alright, now that I know it's this way, I don't need to set those... Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> no! Wasn't it the guy that was on our side that just got shot? What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size Bro. of it. do here commander it's nihilus damn bro cold blood a Turian? you know him he's a specter he was with us all along. something's moving over behind those crates <laughs> wait don't don't shoot i'm one of you i'm human what are you doing sneaking around back there I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. Okay. They killed everyone. I feel everyone. like the audio is a little if out of balance. Behind the crates, I'd be dead too. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oops.
Bro, can I not walk up in there? Tougher. Going in like a freaking hero. That's good. He's shooting at. I don't even see anything. hitting Hey What's up Fresno? How you doing, bro? Wait, can I get down up there? Pray and pray. Well, fortunately, right now, I don't need to spray and pray. It's pretty easy right now. I think you're thinking of Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Yes, looks like an asshole. Whoa. Like a couple of stiffs. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Tell me how many there are. Oh, there's three charges remaining. Okay. We gotta find another one of those uh, charges and get them off. She said, kinda, I guess. 
It wouldn't be way over here, would it? Yeah, two and a half minutes, bro. We gotta find this thing. What's this? Do we got a little bit more than two minutes to find this freaking thing? Alright, it's gotta be it's gotta be back up this way. Wait. Wait, hold on, dude. Alright, this place is confusing me. Wait, I hear something. Oh, I think it's up top right there. How do I get back up there? Oh, I hear it. Let's go. Now, maybe get down here to this beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Don't get too close! Good freaking job, you broke it. I'm pretty sure the orders were to find it, not destroy it. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Damn. There's me when I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think wow, he's waking Cypher. up. Wow, can't believe you'd go there, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what does it matter? How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? Why do I have downs all of About a sudden? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. 
It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. <laughs> we have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. <laughs> the so. beacon exploded. A system overload. Yeah, actually, it's hot as hell. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. These characters sound bored of their own game. <laughs> I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to... Here, here's what you guys... And for those of you who did join the stream at the very beginning, there's a new... There's a new... Um, rule on my channel. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Okay. Are you sure you're okay? I cannot quit a game. If I if if I if I quit a game, even if I don't like the game, if I quit it, I have to delete oh, yeah. my channel. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. One hundred percent real. Dead. Not joking. The beacon was destroyed. So and Gether invaded. if I hate a game, I have to the stick with it, and I and I have to just I may bitch. I may complain all the way to the end, but I, I will never quit another game that I start on this channel. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the. You hate this game right now? I don't know. How. I don't hate it. I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. It's, it's pretty dialogue heavy you at the beginning. Just before that beacon self-destructed, did you see oh. anything? Uh, we'll Any see. clue that might tell us what <laughs> Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost the acting in this game is mind-blowing. Is that because you want to blow your brains out? Saren took it. <laughs> but I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command. I need some alpha he brain. stop until he wipes <laughs> humanity from the face of the galaxy. Oh, you thought I was joking? Alpha brain, black label. Thank you, Joe Rogan. Uh, he has secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and we won't stop, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We the voice actor close. is the same guy who does the Arbiter the and tell from Halo. Bring us into oh, really? Are you making that up, or is that real? 
I want to know why I'm not getting smooth frames here. Here, give me just a second, guys. Let's... Yeah, that didn't make a difference. Yeah, there's something. I don't know. There's something about the. It's not super smooth on your end. Hey, Commander. What am I supposed to be doing here? Find the beacon. Um, assignments. What am I supposed to do? Showing this is a point of interest, so... I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the road. It says this is a point of interest, so I can't do anything here. timing commander i was just about to bring us into the citadel see that taxpayer money at work is it oh it just sounds exactly like him his name is Keith david oh gotcha She said, Dude, Ashley is hot as hell, bro. Well, size isn't everything. Those lips. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. So, no, for sure. <laughs> is an outrage. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. 
Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half Mr. your crew. Mr. Anderson, to you. just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. <laughs> they are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council Mr. might use Whittaker. this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Why am I yawning Shepherd, so much? you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And hey, Madam Rent to the movie. <laughs> Important locations are marked on your map. Use the mission computer with blank to access it. What? didn't take wait no 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 oh I got six points I can do for him too cool nice Roughly tw Whoops. to the Presidium. Allow me to be... Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. 
So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. So you're fake. Programmed gotcha. to provide spontaneous guidance. Wendy, so thanks, buddy. Locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Have a nice day. Use Citadel Rapid Trans... Uh, man. Oh, I thought I was actually going to get to ride in the car and all that. So it's just a way to load the screen. Hold on. To Presidium, the elevator leads down to Presidium. There you will find the uh, embassies, the Citadel Tower, the Emporium, the Bank, and the cons Consort Chambers. Behind you is the Citadel Tower. The Council convenes at the far end. What? Yeah, you go this way. Pretty sure. Yeah, I need to get down there to the council chamber. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Oh, they'll listen. They'll listen. We're not going to give him a choice. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. You can bet the Volus will join. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this wow. must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're damn right. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? 
How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This guy's a piece of shit, dude. This meeting is adjourned. He's a liar. We all saw it. He blew his head, freaking black his head, back of his head out. Wow. So he hates humans. He wants humanity wiped out, wiped out of the galaxy. You and he's a murderer. Weapon. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Yeah, uh, we definitely need to get the action going a little bit. <laughs> Guess we gotta go back to the other end. Where, where do they say he was? All right, calm down. All right. Garrus uh, might be able to help speak to Harkin. The lower wards. Go to Chora's Den in the lower wards and speak with Harkin. Okay. Cores Den. Yeah, let's go. So we gotta go find Harkin. And we're trying to expose this guy that uh, killed this person in cold blood. And he's, he's being protected by this council. The lower markets. This door leads to the lower markets. Continue through the upper markets and beyond to find Presidium and CSEC uh, Academy access. Harkin. It's Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. So how do we know? Looking for a fellow named Harkin.
this the whole place? Is this Harkin? I don't even know what he looks like. Is that really? Oh, wow! It's you. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one turn. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't have time to give interviews, interview. Ms. Wong. I'm looking for information. Hey, girl, well, you know, I guess I can spare a minute or two. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption <laughs> and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. We'll see. No promises. But if I find anything we'll relating see. to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Dude, where the hell does do that? The C second cat. Oh my gosh, bro. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. What? Uh, I don't want to go to docking bay. Let's go here. The wards locations. We're just there, bro. That's him. Well, I gotta kill this guy. Oh my god. What's the point of that? What's up? Well, that hello there, Harkin. Nice Pistol to meet you. To take you down. Harkin. You up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. 
Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. The med clinic, med clinic on the other side of the I'm wards. Out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. The med clinic on the other side of the wards. Let's go. So this is the ward, so I'm pretty sure. Hawkins an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. I keep pushing the wrong button. How would I find the med clinic? Doesn't really tell you where to go. Med clinic, here we go. We're getting it figured out. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We can handle this on our own. Let's go. What? Oh.
What? What am I doing? Oh, X. Oh, I can only add two. Take the chick. <laughs> If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. A Krogan bounty hunter named Erndot Rex might be able to help you against Saren. Speak to Rex. Rex, the Krogan bounty hunter... He's being questioned at the CSEC Academy. You can meet him there if you want to speak with him. The CSEC Academy. Okay. Let's go to the CSEC. This is Rex? Bro. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. What's up? Do I know you, Ask human? Him. My name's Shepard. Huh? I'm going after Fist. Thought oh. you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're Damn both right. warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. I go where exactly? Fist, a, a, a crime lord hiding out at a bar called Kor's Den in the lower wards, is meeting with a uh, Gwarian. All right, so we got to go back down to the uh, to the uh, den. Core is dead. Yep. Let's go. It's going to get ugly. Looks like it's shut down. Fist. Catch up. Guys, hold on. Three dogs are barking. Wait, am 
my god. Wait. Who's shooting me? I don't even see anybody. Locker. I think we got him. Why do I have Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender! Tell me where the quarrying is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. That's a piece of shit. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Drop the gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Fuck him. Yep. Um. Whatever. We gotta get down to the uh to the markets. Wait, what? There are a few unlicensed vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff. For Hello? Sale. Why can't I? Why can't I use the thing? Shadow Broker. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Set 
me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. Yeah, you damn but right. Not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? <laughs> Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. Yeah, slow your freaking roll, Tali. dude. We're here to help. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the memory core, the, the Reapers voice? were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? I don't the trust war. the Council though, that's the problem. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Let's go. I like Thanks. that before each mission, you, you can you can put together your crew. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with a council. Because uh, different people on the uh, different people that we're gathering as part of our little crew have different strengths and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um. She has tech strength, so we'll add her. See if that does anything. I need some bio strength. Combat strength. Let's do this. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this, dude. We all know Karen's a piece of shit. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Nope. 
Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Make sure we're going to the right place here. Wait, do I even need to... Why is this saying this is a point of interest still? Excuse me. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to Citadel discuss Tower. matters That's where I need of to interstellar go. importance. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Is that his space. hair or metal hat? <laughs> Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role hat. they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three it's Council silver. races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Must be using Afro Sheen. I don't even know what the hell that is. Man, I'm seeing a ton of stutter in my OBS. It's just on this game, though. Let me see something. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, I think I'm seeing it, I think I'm seeing it worse than OBS, though. Too much old school, Goody. Jamal. Even though all you do is say wasted, you don't have much to add as far as conversation goes, I want you to know that I still appreciate you being here. That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged. I mean, if I ever see you, I'm definitely going to punch you in the face, but... I'm glad I'm, st I'm still glad you're here. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect citizens. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion... That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going right now? You should be there when the ambassador presents uh, Corian's evidence to the Citadel Council. Returns to Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Return to the Citadel Tower. Okay. Have a pleasant day.
All right. So now the next question is, where's the Citadel Tower? Way over there. Okay. We'll get this figured out. Don't worry. Afro Sheen, Ultra Sheen. It's... Yeah, I, I use uh, I use dial soap, so I don't I don't know what that means, bro. I do need to start using conditioner though. My hair gets real frizzy. So Goonie, did you hear about my uh did you hear about my uh my new standards for the channel? Dude, I take like two showers a day, Goonie. I'll, I'll, trust me on that. <laughs> I told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel right. Like all the celebrities that say they don't shower or use deodorant. Uh, I do take two showers a day, but also I don't really use deodorant very often. See what I did to my face cam too? I made the I made it so it's not square. It's kind of got the rounded edges. No, I actually uh um. I made a vow on my channel, Goonie, that I have to stand by for the rest of this channel's existence. Okay. Um, if I start a game, if I if I press start on a game, new game, I have to see the game through. I have to finish the game. Now, obviously, I don't mean like I have to finish it in one stream. I just mean like I can't. I can't just stop playing it because I don't like the game, because the game's graphics are bad, because the game's too hard, because I'm just bored with it. Doesn't matter the reason, I cannot stop a game that I start. And if I do, if I ever do that, you, you ever watch Impractical Jokers? What's up, Grizzly? You ever watch Impractical Jokers? Uh, and they have this pact that uh, they still have this. They still have this. Uh, they have this pact on Impractical Jokers that. Whenever they get to the part of the show where they do the the punishment, whoever lost the uh, the the, uh, the episode, then they cannot back out of a punishment. And if they do, they have to quit the show. So I'm doing a similar thing here. If I ever quit a game, I have to delete my channel. You have my word. I put that on my children's lives. I'm not joking around. I'm still calling cap on this. <laughs> hey, Grizzly, what's up, bro? It's that's because you don't know me that well, Mike. Ask my wife. Like when I when I when I say I want to do something, then that's what I do. And I actually think this could make for really good content because imagine me starting a game, and then thirty minutes into it, and it's a game that takes like 20, 25 hours to beat, <laughs> and about thirty minutes into it. About 30 minutes into it, you, you guys are starting to see the Witcher face. <laughs> but but I made a pact that, that I can never quit another game. I, I actually think the uh, Come on. the potential here is Udina's through, through the, the roof. Udina's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought I, I beat GTA 5, Goonie. To finding the conduit. I beat GTA 5. one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof. Hold on. Let me get let me get through this uh, 25 minute dialogue. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. 
Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a One powerful second, biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen One sec, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear this Saren part of the story so I don't miss it. machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. Stop this guy. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure Senor the entire Titan. region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. A few dozen? I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Make me a Spectre, let's go! Commander Shepard. This game's actually Step pretty forward. awesome. And I was watching a video on it, and they said it, it is kind of a slow burn to begin with. It takes a bit for the story to start off. I think we're getting there right now. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Let's go. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. It's about I've time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized <laughs> to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Well, that went well. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Let's go, baby. Game of Spectre made it look good, too. Bastard didn't even thank you. What's up, Annihilator? 
How you doing, brother? How you doing, brother? He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <laughs> Spectre bonus. Spectral training talent unlocked. Let's go. Because I'm a G. Everybody calm down. I pushed the wrong button again. Alright. Uh, equipment. The ambassador will provide you with a ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay. Accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. So we gotta get out of here first. Too high for this, bro. Um, so you can press start in GTA 5 again. Oh yeah, I already read GTA 5. Um, have you ever played Dishonored? No, uh, what's that? A, I don't know if you're still here, uh, Grizzly, but, uh, what's like, the, uh, what's that about? Because, uh, that's, you're not the first person to bring that game up. You speed ran that on the hardest difficulty, all action? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to look into that, because you, you're like... A lot of people have... You quarians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. I've brought that Did up. People ever talk it's about free it? for Epic Games right now? Oh, Did nice. Did Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turians sterilizing your people? All the time. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. You think I want to hear that every Behind time? Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Maybe Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily or work results in here. harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Yes, we heard that all the time. That's all for now. Thank you, you for using that, Avena. Have a pleasant day. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the central elevator in the c Sec Academy. Okay, so let's go to the map. Okay, so let's go straight forward then. Okay. Um, did you ever play 12 Minutes? I remember talking about it once. Again, I might have been high and forgot you. Played. No, I don't think I ever played it. I remember, we, I remember watching a um, a video on it. Hold on. I remember watching a video on it and actually thinking it was very interesting. Isn't there some sort of like murder mystery? But it's like from like a it's like a little room and there's like twelve minutes or you gotta find do clues or something like that. If I remember right. 
It, it looked really interesting. What's with the helmets, Tally? Are all quarians shy? Or do you not believe in letting outsiders see your faces? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Naturally. Anything that isn't constantly challenged grows weak. Fight your own people, Rex. There aren't that yeah, many. Yeah, but good left. and challenging. Figured you would like to test that 151 IQ out. Us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Don't Killing try to the reverse psychology me, okay? Killing the former is a favor to the Challenge universe. me because you think I'll just take the bait? You obviously have to play it now. Fuck! I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. <laughs> Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and it's he made sure I'm the Council it, rejected work. me. <laughs> I had my shot came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. You talking about the black dude? Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Mass Effect voice acting cast. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human Keith long David. before you were a Spectre. Oh, yes. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I've seen that guy in movies, but I, I didn't know his name. Dude, that guy's hilarious, dude. He's so funny. And uh, uh, there's something about Mary. He played the that stepdad. Well, how the hell did you get the freaking mother beans? <laughs> All right, where are we going here? Wasn't really paying attention. Go to Artemis Tau. Explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster to find Lyrius Sunny. How do I do that? You get on the ship, huh? How do I get on? Uh, 
Let's go. Stand by. Yo, this show is dope, man. Decontamination in progress. Yeah, he's, he's so funny, Nixon. dude. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken dude, down. Dude, I have my own ship now. Let's go. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. This game's Everyone on better this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I got my own damn ship now. Are we serious? Bruh. Here we go. Here we go. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Prothians, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and the light 0.3 standard G's on the Pesidium ring. I give a fuck why? Hold on a second. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> fuck this. <up. laughs> Explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster to find the Artemis Tau cluster. Let's do this one. Investigate Pharaohs to see why the colony was attacked by Girth. Or should I? Explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh my gosh, I, it, it says zoom out, so I'm thinking there's another layer there. Okay. It just gotta be one of them.
Artemis Tau. There we go. Alsages. Small distant Alsages is a small terrestrial um, with a trace of atmosphere of methane and argon. The surface is composed of water, ice, and calcium with occasional deposits of light metals. During the Alliance's pirate uh, suppression campaign in the 2160s, the battery, the battery and helium run. I don't even know what the fuck I'm reading. Just Rare element surveyed. Rare element surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a small deposits of plutonium. Ooh, let's make some bombs. Ooh. Wait, what? Why the about... Picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Let's go. Ex uh, Edelus is a terrestrial planet with an uh, atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Edelus's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand, which only a few areas of ingenious rock, uh, igneous, ig igneous, igneous rock highlands to break abrasive. Just get me down there. Fuck. Like, I know what I'm reading. Shut the fuck up. Dude, Starfield's gonna be so sick, man. I cannot freaking wait for Starfield, bro. Starfield's gonna be a game changer. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Where am I going? This is awesome. Was not expecting this type of thing in this game. This is really cool. Hey, we only got one of these, bitch. Don't flip it. You're an idiot. This is so cool. Whoa. 
trigger, bro. Or it won't shoot. There it is. Zoom, bitch. That's cool. Yeah, well, it's gonna learn today. It's gonna learn today. I need to figure out how to avoid that stuff. And I can only repair my ship once, it looks like. He's going to the, uh, I was thinking side to side, maybe he'd spit it behind me, but he's not, he's, he's hitting it. Well, she said, let's go. Right there, he like. doing damage Dude, I can't tell if it's doing damage or not Dude. 
Dude! It like... I don't know if y'all saw that. No, but that's BS. Look at that. It hits me anyway. Whoops. Damn it. So close. That's it. Can I pick this stuff up or no? Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. These are Admiral Kahoku's men. We need to tell him what happened here. Man, my truck is not good. I'm just hoping I don't need to do anything else here. This beacon is still. Let's get moving. Okay. And my ship can't take anymore, bro. Or my, not a ship, my, my, whatever this vehicle is. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Milan's 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 identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Hey, what else? What's this? Let's go check out that debris. See what's see what's.
sense standing around. One thing I like about this game is, you know, it'll tell you what to do, but it doesn't completely hold your hand the whole time. But right now, it's not telling me, hey, go here, go here, go here. I'm just having to, like, assume that's what there that's why I, I just gotta assume that's what i'm supposed to do and just go and just kind of go figure it out dude this, i don't even know if this uh, freaking vehicle is gonna make this Gotta find Diara to Sony. That's not who that person was back there, was it? looking for a person I don't think she's down there okay. scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of hydrogen This is uh, a little complicated because I got to find this girl. I think it's a girl. Not all these planets you can go to, but I think some of them you can. Land. Yeah, here we go. Well, we haven't had a ton of combat, so I'll take... She's really good at tech stuff. Potato, carrots, and pork chops for dinner. Sugar bread is pretty good. That sounds good. Bruh, chill. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange. 
range, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Tell you one thing, you better have proper PPE if you're gonna be uh, working. Thank you. That'd be great. Thank you. you. Better have the proper PPE if you're gonna work on a planet like this. Because I'm assuming this volcanic, volcanic stuff is uh, probably not good for the old lungs. What now? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I think there's one up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we'll worry about that one if we have to. Really? guys are pathetic. They go down quick.
Wait, we can breathe here? Okay, let's just stay in the car. What am I supposed to be doing here? I mean, am I supposed to get out and explore these on foot too? We go. Excuse me. Yeah. Bro, really? Really? I'm alive now? Thank you.
You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Dude, I'm just assuming I'm going the right way right now. I'm, 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 I'm going throughout this galaxy looking for a person. I don't know any. I have no idea where they're at. I'm hoping. I'm hoping she's up here. Please don't flip. I mean, they're protecting something over here, so. Hey, boo. Did I say? I'm wondering if I'm if I need to try to blow that open. It looks fragile. I think this is designed for me to have to go through it. Yeah, it won't let me. Oh. Because this is where we go on foot. Oh, 
Oh, it's one up there. No wonder. Sniper rifle, hammer two, equip. All right. Sniper rifle. Equip. No idea what I'm doing wrong. Yo, this chick better be up here, bro. A lot of uh, a lot of game for nothing. He's got. I mean, he's got to be the place.
Whoa. Why can't I shoot? use my health I thought I had like med packs or some shit It says I have five med packs, but I don't know how to use them. Kill this guy. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? Looks like auto automatic sawed off shotgun with a scope. Use med pack mass effect. Why don't you need a whole article just tell me? Oh, it's the Y button.
sick of those things, dude. Oh, all my teammates are dead. Perfect. Things are all the way annoying. <laughs> Not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're, You're not, not that, that guy. guy. Now I gotta figure out why I died earlier so quickly when I turned this freaking corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. One shot. One shot. I can't get hit by one shot of that. Choky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've come to a realization you wanted to be an astronaut when you were little. You know, I actually never really thought about that. Smarted by the best. 
outsmarted by the best. You guys are annoying, bro. Okay. Let's go. Hey, guys, if you haven't already, uh, please leave a like on the stream. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How do I not die to this fucking guy? I think one shots me, bro. I can't tell if I'm doing damage or not. I think I am, but I'm not sure. Wait. Is it down? I think still working over there. Dude, I gotta figure out how to, how to... Wait, what? Oh, let me out of here. Okay, so... Not rifles like hold on. Wait, why can't I switch? Okay, there we go. About freaking time. I'm getting it figured out. by now.
can't tell if I'm doing damn it like Man, am I wasting my time right now? That's your big advice, huh? Okay. This better not kill me, bro. I wasn't I got I wasn't close enough. Oh my goodness. That was absolutely insane. What's up in here? Yeah, well, I didn't, okay? You thought I was, but I wasn't. Jamal. Jamal's not that tall. Jamal likes the ball. Jamal is in the mall. Jamal. Over that shit. I love this rifle. Holy shit. What are you shooting at, bro? the wrong team for gunfights. Just a feeling. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. Did that all in sync too. <laughs> Jamal, don't bring up people's race. It's not funny. No one likes it. Unless you, unless you want me to talk shit about you being black. And then it gets awkward. Now I'm in trouble for being racist. Lord knows I'm not. Ah. Damn, dude. 
gentlemen if they're too stupid to just come at me because they're they can fly by the way yeah you're not that guy pal. trust me you're not that guy Piece of cake. Hey, you're worthless. Let's go. I really like this game, by the way. It's a perfect mix between challenging and and still like kind of arcadey and fun. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Well, a good space game is dope. We are at Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. So I have to try to find a way to get past that barrier? Why is this game acting weird? Well, I'm assuming the answer is down here. Hey, bitch. you step the fuck back. There you go, teammate. Dude, I can't wait to play like Mass Effect 2 and 3. Are you kidding me? Because I heard they I heard they just get better. I heard they I heard two is a lot of people's favorite. And I'm, they, they they said straight up that number one number one was like the jankiest one. Did your stream freeze a few minutes ago? Dude, something happened. Hold on a second. Uh, 
Well, hold on. I don't think it froze, but for some reason, my, um... Hold on. My, my game source is out of whack. It's like there's a delay on there. I don't know what happened. Hold on. Let's add it back. Let's go to 2560 by 1440. Let's add a little... Let's leave it like that. Drop it down here. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. When the, when the pigs try to get at you, pocket it like it's hot. Pocket it like it's hot. And if the... Get an attitude. Pocket it like it's hot. Pocket it like it's hot. <laughs> My worst nightmare is, is doing a rap song and dropping the N-bomb and getting canceled. <laughs> Even though I think that'd be bullshit. It's just a song. But... Dif dif different rules for different people, I guess. <laughs> oh, damn. It seems okay now on my end. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, this game hasn't been super smooth. Um, like, as far as frame, framey wise the game's a little unstable, but it's an older game. Uh, I expect 2 and 3 to be a lot smoother overall. What the heck? There we go. That's where are we going? Okay, there's no jumping in this game, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. Wait, is the answer down here? I gotta shut something off or something it's so much pressure when you can't quit yeah I'm telling you guys hey I'm not joking about that like that's not some like little gimmicky thing that I'm doing like I, I, I'm dead serious I'm, put, I'm putting that kind of pressure on myself I think it'll add I think it'll add quality to to my channel Cause even when I hate a game, the fact that I have to stick with it becomes like it's like its own. It's it, it takes on almost its own personality. You know what I mean? The fact that I can't quit a game. Bella, chill. All right, what the heck am I supposed to be doing down here? My channel be gone in a day. <laughs> oh wait, is this it? Enter code. smart so fucking smart god i'm so fucking smart <laughs> just joking <laughs> here we go hey mo 
Alte, what's up, brother? What up, brother? I finished like three or four games out of the 40 plus that I've have, I have had since I got back into gaming when RDR2 released. But you know what it is? I think that this, um, oh, I think it actually adds to here? the channel. Like, I, I think it makes the channel better. The even, even if I'm playing bad games, we blasted through that becomes part of the, 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 of the uh, that becomes part of the yes, channel. You know what I mean? Like pushing Please, through bad games. Get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast. Oh, today's your birthday, Malte. Happy birthday. You sure, she's on our side. Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even. I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Appreciate that, Gunny. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Well, if you were able to make like a fun thing of it, like I am, of this place? I, I think your mindset there might change. Like if you, em you embrace it, embrace that it At sucks, I, I think and that becomes like it. funny. You know what it I mean? Should take us out of here. Come on. You said I'm the thirteenth like today. I, I still cannot believe. Oh, I'm the thirteenth like today. Okay, I thought you were trying to say it's your th you your th Benez turn thirteen involved? today. Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. I made a mistake, what okay? That? <laughs> These ruins are not stable. Mm -hmm. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Uh, so you're going to go back and finish the games you quit? See, that was not part of the deal. Okay. <laughs> I, I will tell you this, Jay. So here's... Hold on a second. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock Let me on pause my this, signal. Cause, cause, on the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, secure just, just and away. ETA, eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Okay. So, uh, here's the, um, here are, like, the rules, okay? And, and I'm being dead serious. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking with you guys. I'm, I'm putting that kind of pressure on myself. If a game is broken, like, if for some reason uh, a game breaks or I'm halfway, three quarters of the way through a game, and the game, something happens, there's an error code, something and I just can't finish, I didn't finish the game because of something out of my control, I'm not gonna go back and restart the whole game over just because of that. I, I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's an exception that, that I think we can all live with, okay? Uh, but what I can't do, I cannot quit a game because um, I, the game is boring, because the politics of the game, because the graphics, because the game is too hard, no, no, I can't just quit the game because I just don't like the game. I can't do it. So I'm putting the, where the pressure is, and 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 here's what's and, and here's here's what's interesting. I'm going to keep looking for games that I that I hope to like. Like I'm not going to go out of my way to choose really bad games. But have we? But as we've all seen, I've taken many many chances on this channel trying new games, things I wouldn't like, and I end up hating them, and then I just quit them. That's no longer an option. If I start a game. And I'm so bored that I'm pissed off that I'm playing it. I think that in itself is good content because now there's this pressure. I have to finish. I have to beat the game. And it'd be really funny if there's a game that took like 20, 30 hours to beat, like a longer game. And then within 30 minutes, I get the Witcher face. And, and then so and, and then 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 the content is watching me be miserable and beat this whole game. I'm complaining the whole time, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm bitching about the whole thing, but I have to keep playing it. Well, Dying Light wasn't broken, so there you go, finish it. Now, I'm not, yeah, but I'm not saying, Jay, that I won't go back and play those games again. I'm saying any any game that happened before I made this pact with you guys, 
any game that happened before that, like uh, that's that's in the past. Like the pact is from here on forward. But if but if I do go back and play the game, then I yes I will have to finish it. But the, 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 there's no there's nothing saying that I have to go back and play anything that I have to go back and finish because that, that that doesn't even make any sense. If you hate the game, then damn it, you better hurry up and eat it and beat it. Yeah, you know it's funny. I was, you know it's funny about that Goonies. I was actually thinking a few minutes ago to myself that there's gonna be some long streams, bro. Like if there's a game, if there's a game that takes like 20, 30, 40 hours to beat, I'm not gonna wanna play that game for three weeks. You know what I mean? So. I'll be putting on. I'll be putting in some six, eight-hour streams tr trying to knock that fucker out. <laughs> Brenda, or don't. That would be more fun. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Lucky for me, I actually like this game, okay? It was started off a little slow, for sure. Not that guy. What? No fucking way. I thought he died. I thought he died, bro. I, I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Lucky piece of crap. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Got this last son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on. Get the fuck out of here. So, what's this game about? Uh, well, okay, so in the beginning. Kill him. Spare the I can't remember every little thing, but basically, there's this guy who shot one of somebody one of our allies he's a different species but one of our allies got shot in the back of the head by this piece of shit and we had to go to some council 
and we, but we didn't have any proof so we had to find proof we brought him the proof and now he's kind of on the run and we're trying to find him because uh, he has plans to like destroy the, the whole human race out throughout the whole galaxy and uh, so we're trying to find him and he's a real piece of shit and he's real hard to catch so really it's actually a really good story and uh, it's a lot of fun for, especially for how old it is come out in 2007 this game's like what, 15 16 years old sorry if you can <laughs> annoying because whenever you get him close to death he charges you and if you don't kill yeah. all the other guys first all these side dudes gotta go first oh fuck I killed this guy Another one over here? I knew it. Okay, I gotta get rid of this guy. Damn it. You guys are annoying, bro. No! No! Are you kidding me? Well, there's no way! How do I... What am I supposed to do if he charges me at the very end? Like, oh, I... Spare the sorry if you can. God, that's so annoying. Highly irritating. Heal up my teammate a little more so he can actually help me. Do it one more time.
no damn way one hit did that. Dude, how am I supposed to kill this freaking guy? I, I, he, he just chased, he's just one-shotting us. He just, he's one-shotting everybody at the end. I don't understand how I'm no, supposed to freaking do anything with that. I think I, can I change my crew at all? Oh, you bitch. My God. Right, right, no, 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 come on. There's no way this is happening. baby. Let go! Let go! Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. 
I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Now Only let's that it was get it on. To the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. Hmm. And eventually I will be able to prove it. Seems risky. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of What extinction. cycle? What are you Each talking about? Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. Mm. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Mm. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. <laughs> might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Oh, we, we make you a part of the... Wait or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It we make her a part of the crew. The first thing she wants to do is go take a nap. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate, I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. 
Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? We almost died in there. The Geth were everywhere. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Okay. Game's cool, man. All right, boys and girls, that's it for uh, stream number one of Mass Effect. I actually got to get off here and take my uh, take my kid to uh, to work. She goes to work at here in less than an hour I, I gotta get ready and take her and go to work or I'd, I'd probably actually play this for a few more hours tonight but um I got other responsibilities this game has 14 hours of cutscenes alone when it first released it was a three disc set yeah yeah it's a lot of cutscenes but if you allow yourself to kind of see past that a little bit and just try to listen for the story and figure out, because I think where I get bored with cutscenes a lot is when I don't really know what's going on because I'm like talking to the chat and I'm, I'm not really paying attention to what the actual story is. And once you get to a point in the game where you're just going and doing things, you're not even sure why you're doing them. That's when me, that's when for me, games get really boring. Cause it's like now it just feels like I'm going here. Okay, now I go here, do this, go here, kill this guy. But you don't understand why or why it means anything because you're, you're not paying attention to the story. But if, if you take time to actually invest in the story a little bit, I'm not saying maybe not 100% of the lore or, or everything, but just pay attention enough to where you kind of know what alliances are going on, why you're doing this, why the person you're going to save means something and just kind of giving a shit a little bit about the story um you know assuming it's a good story uh it's way easier i made all that up <laughs> i'm gonna be honest that kind of scared me a little bit i wasn't trying to show it but i was like 14 hours of cousins. <laughs> you know what'd be fun you know what'd be fun to do goonie like once a month or something like at the beginning of every month maybe maybe i i can i need to come up with like a list of like the worst games of all time and then pick like four or five of them and put them in a poll p-o-l-l -L, uh in the community tab and you guys could vote for which uh which one of those five games you want to see me play but the funny thing about it is obviously they're on the list of worst games of all time so you guys could just you guys could just watch me suffer you know what i mean i think it's gonna be fun one day to start playing a game that's like a completely different style than anything i've ever played you know, like like those 2D games, a lot of them are like 2D, like the farming or space or whatever. It's just really 2D basic. And they still make new games like that today, like in 2022. They're still making games in that style. But so I'm not saying it has to be an old game like that. I'm just saying a game like that. Um, I'd play it and hate it. And it's like a 15 hour game or something. And I was so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna knock this out in two days. I don't want, I don't want to stream this all week. So I would stream it and buy about, 
I'd hate it so much. The style, the dialogue, it'd be too hard. You know what I mean? It'd just be, it'd be a, I'd hate it. And then by about eight, about it, by about hour eight or nine, I start to kind of like it. I'm like, okay, I, I kind of get it now. By hour 11, you're like, dude, this game's pretty good. By hour 14, you're like, dude, I can't believe there's only like an hour left of this game. This game is incredible. This opened up a whole new genre for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do I have a lazy eye or something? I don't know. I don't know. You know, you like what I, you like what I did with this whole setup? Having my camera over here, kind of a more of a rounder shape, and then having a spot over here for chat. I think it looks pretty cool. But um, all right, guys. Well, I'll pick this. I'll pick this back up uh, tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I don't have to stop playing. I can play, play as long as I want. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. I appreciate you, Goody and Malte, uh, Jay, all, all you guys that was here uh, for the whole stream, or anybody, anybody who stopped by. Please leave a like on your way out if you have not liked the video already. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I ball for a minute? Ride on. I like a blunt, like a roll, like a nice storm. But look forever, don't you ever get in my way? Cause I can rise, I can rise up in your face. Teamwork, he's hurt, but I'm feeling the dirt. Cause we burst, get a surge of adrenaline and burst. My knees hurt, please nurse, let the medicine work. So I can bring a bit of profession, but he's superb. I won't stop till I'm certified. Won't stop till I'm first to rise. I'm gonna tell you the first surprise. Bigger, 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can see my name in lights. Oh, they can fall and I'm feeling all right. Yeah, so let the whole world know. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm thinking stars and I'm feeling superb. But they're thinking, 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 they're thin